And you want to tell the executive this today, that the international prices for oil, for fuel, have gone down over time. Bei ya mafuta kidunia mzima imeenda chini. Kwa hela nyingi tu some places imeenda chini ya shilingi 40, some places imeenda chini ya shilingi 30 na hapa tunaelekesha bei ya mafuta chini ya shilingi 5, shilingi 10. We want to ask the government, the people deciding that we want that as the international oil prices go down, we should see the same happening in the country. Bei ya mafuta ikienda chini nationally hapa Kenya pe penye nini iende chini na tuongee na banks we cannot be having the banks charging the dollar rate at 157 dollar 157 shillings per dollar yet the cpk rate is 153 we would like to know hii shilingi 4 sita ya dollar nani anaikula hapa katikati ndio wananchi wasipate so bei ya fuel must go down as the national price go down Number two, is that in the last few months, we've seen corruption creeping back to government. Corruption creeping back to government. Why do you want to get serious? Because you see, we now have matters that we are not making it. We are not sure how many people are going to be. But we are not sure how many people are going to be. We are not sure how many people are going We must deal with these things as a country, and as we told the president this. As a country, for us to grow, we must slay the dragon of corruption. We want to speak to the DPP. The DPP. Usually, the last three, four weeks, two months, I don't know if you've seen it, guess of honor. We've seen cases, very serious cases, that we see the person as a recurrent. They're in Anguka, in Kwakoti. Very serious cases. Yana Moliona, Ile Aror, and Kimuare. They're in Anguka, Juzi. Very proper cases. They're in Anguka, Juzi. They're in Anguka, Juzi. They're in Anguka, The courts are saying that the DPP is not doing a good job. So we have to ask the ESCC and DPP, please, where our money gets lost as a country, as parliament, we will not sit back and watch as bodies under our charge mess up investigations, people go spot free, who are stolen government money. They must put energy in proper investigations. Now easy, new easy. If we see a hapa, if we are going to Even national government will go. Within you easy, if you are stealing government money, you deserve to be in jail. I will not just keep quiet because we're in Kenya Kwanza. Because when the country go, when the country does well, Rais anafanya na bolea, anasema na ongea, anafanya mambo ya mbegu, anasaidia inji yende mbele. But will not grow if the president does a good job, na hile anangeze na hibu wa nyuma yaki. Muliona kama kulikuwa na mandamano, sidikala hile kwa nakaa mzuri, tukaenda manamano watu kwa wao. Mimi nimefurahi sana kwamba sasa hivi kuna kuna tunaona kwamba kuna makubaliano kuna kufanya kazi mzuri kati ya Raila na Ruto. Nafurahia sana hii. Kwamba watu wa Azimio wamekaa na watu wa Kenya kwanza wakubaliana vile hivi itaenda mbele. Wakasema kwamba tutafanya sasa IBC commissioners wakuje kuja deal na ile tutapatia kiti ya no will have now the seat of official opposition will have ile kiti ya mdavadi itakuwa sawa na kufurahia sana hiyo tungependa tu kuomba azimio kwamba tena mbele hapa if they don't get what they want because now they are not worth how to get what they want tungependa sana kwamba in the future if we disagree politically let's talk to each other let's agree to disagree but on the table don't take our kids the streets to be killed because you want positions it's the wrong thing to do we can agree and talk and get what we want without bloodshed so ningependa sana kusema hizo kwamba tusiwaje kasi ya sasa kila saa tukishindwa na maneno this talk to each other let's agree to disagree but let's in future not put our children in arms way because we want something hii mambo hii nadi kwa report inaongea kuhusu creation of the official of the office of the official leader of opposition. Hiyo ni mambo ya kosa fling mi kweli. So tukaona tu hapa ni jamaa kuna mtu tu anatafutiwa job hapa tu. Atapangwa, atulie, alafu sisi tunataka kupata ha? Na ndio maana tukaambia kina David Ochieng. Wacha tukuje tuongee katika bunge. 
yale maneno ambayo tunaweza kusuluhisha katika bunge ya suluhishwe katika bunge lakini watoto wetu wasitokee kwa barabara tena kufanya maandamano na kuuawa kwa sababu ya siasa hichi kwa kweli kuna wale ambao walipelekwa kotini kwa mambo ambayo hayakuwa sawa kwa sababu walikuwa na msimamo tofauti wa kisiasa na hivyo inafaa kurekebisha yale makosa yalifanya lakini jinsi ya kurekebisha tunaona hii office of the DPP inatuangusha kidogo kwa sababu wakati tuliangalia vile hiyo kesi ilirudiwa judgment ambayo iliandikwa na magistrate alisema wale witnesses wote ambao walikuwa waitwe hakuna hata mmoja alikuwa uh, uh, cross examined na DPP inamaanisha ya kwamba DPP wamepeleka kesi kotini lakini badala waende wafanye cross examination ya those witnesses they are not doing that and as a result these cases land up in the tunaomba we have done so well kuonyesha wa Kenya kwamba this government is committed to fight against corruption but if we continue in that direction DPP not showing up during those cases are being hurt we are going to lose the great milestone we have made so tunaomba tafadhali kila mtu afanye kazi yake yeah. na kila mtu akifanya kazi yake they are not doing it on a favor that is why we are paying them to be those officers to do that work and if they do not want to do that work there are very many other competent knowledgeable educated and experienced Kenyans who can do a superb job katika his office
kurinya aku cie, nice and lovely. Kamano, Agodi, Kamana Marwa.